until she opens her eyes and sees something scarier than a ghost, a polar bear pulling her out of the tent. As cute and cuddly as they may look on the outside, do not let these carnivorous mammals deceive you. Because of their strength and aggressiveness that cannot be compared to other bear species, they are greatly feared and avoided by humans, the polar bears. However, despite their fierce and aggressive appearance, they are fascinating animals that make humans eager to study more about them. Because of this, they initiate more interactions with polar bears rather than avoid them. Polar bear attacks are rare, but can get very dangerous and even fatal. Some explorers, tourists, and other people who see polar bears would get home safely due to proper caution and carefulness. But some might not be on their lucky day and end up getting harmed by these ferocious mammals. In this video about polar bear attacks, we will feature three more that will leave you terrified and shaken as you watch. Story 1 the first story was a terrifying experience of a Russian resident when the 2019 mass polar bear invasion in the Novaya Zemlya archipelago happened. It was a snowy afternoon when Igor, a local high school student, peacefully walked on the streets of Belushia Guba after his class. Walking down the road, he notices a commotion in the middle of the crowd. Curious, he approached the crowd to hear what they were arguing about. I swear, I saw a polar bear searching the garbage for food one woman stated. A man stepped in from the crowd and said, we are safe from polar bears here. The people continued to argue as Igor realized that staying longer would be useless. He continued walking away from the crowd until he reached his home. Igor greeted his mother upon reaching his house and headed upstairs to do his homework. While doing his homework, his mother suddenly called him to do an errand. He needs to buy food at the local market since there is a public warning about a polar bear threat. Igor was skeptical about the polar bear threat, but he followed his mother's orders and bought food at the local market. As he walked, he saw a pale white figure in front of the waste containers across the street. Since the mist around the town wouldn't allow him to see things clearly, and the only thing he has are the street lights, it's hard to tell what the figure is. Curious again, he crossed the street to find out. And when he approached the figure, he was surprised to see that it was an adolescent polar bear, not too big or too small. Igor was terrified and started to run, only for the bear to notice his presence shortly. Steps and thumps were heard as the polar bear chased Igor. While trying to catch his breath, the polar bear caught Igor and clawed his back, causing him to fall face first. Igor screamed for help as the bear jumped onto his back and clawed him again. The bear was growling and scratched Igor's back with his claws until two gunshots were fired beside the bear to scare it away. After hearing the gunshots, the bear immediately backed away and ran from Igor, who was now severely wounded. It was then that he saw that the authorities were the ones who fired the shots and took him to the nearest medical facility for treatment. After the encounter, the local authorities issued a state of emergency as a total of 52 polar bears were seen entering Novaya Zemlya since the Igor incident. The local government called several experts to remove the polar bears from the residential areas and decrease the danger. Story 2 the second story is set in another far-off Russian village where a bear patrol is caught in a deadly situation caused by an angry polar bear. The Russian village of Rarkapia is under alert as polar bears frequently visit it. Some public activities were canceled and schools were heavily guarded to protect students and residents from the bears. Some experts have studied the village situation for quite some time, and they all said that the residents should permanently evacuate as the polar bear numbers kept rising. However, some residents refused to evacuate, which is why the locality of Rarkapia decided to form a bear patrol program that would ward off bears that may try to get near the village. One day, the bear patrols decided to roam inside and outside the village for unsuspecting polar bears, and the group included a newcomer named Nikolai. Nikolai and the other bear patrols each rode a snowmobile to help them navigate the snowy lands as they set off to monitor the village and its outskirts. 
The bear patrols first roamed the insides of the village and reported no polar bear sightings. They declared the area safe and decided to go outside and explore the outskirts of Ryarkapia, where bears may frequently stay for a long time. While patrolling, the head of the patrol, named Boris, noticed that one polar bear was resting just a few meters away from the village. He ordered Nikolai to drive his snowmobile near the polar bear and scare it away. Nikolai followed the order as he drove his snowmobile and went near the polar bear. He honked multiple times to scare it away, but it made the bear angry. The polar bear growled as it stood up and decided to chase Nikolai. Terrified, Nikolai started the snowmobile's engine and drove off from the angry polar bear. Unfortunately, the polar bear suddenly jumped at him and tackled him, getting him off the snowmobile and pinning him to the ground. The polar bear growled before slashing Nikolai's torso with its claws, causing him to scream. Boris and the other patrols witnessed what was happening, so they drove their snowmobiles to rescue Nikolai. Meanwhile, Nikolai was being clawed by the bear as he desperately shielded his head with his arm for protection. Determined to live, Nikolai throws punches at the bear's face, despite being of no use to survive. The polar bear became angrier and jumped on his body again, causing him to scream even more. A few seconds later, Boris and the other patrols arrived with rifles and fired several shots beside the polar bear to scare it away. Since the Russians prohibit killing polar bears, they can only use their rifles to scare them away with their noise. And luckily, it worked with the bear that attacked Nikolai as it fled from the place immediately. Boris approached the wounded Nikolai and took him to the nearest medical clinic, where he was treated for his wounds caused by the harsh bear attack. After the encounter, the officials decided to evacuate the residents one by one to reduce the occurrence of these kinds of attacks in the future. Story 3 the last one is a bone-chilling story of an explorer who encountered something more terrifying than a ghost in a famous ghost town in the Norwegian archipelago of Svalbard. Five explorers named Giselle, Alice, Damien, Tyler, and Kylie set off for Pyramiden, an abandoned Soviet coal mining settlement in Svalbard that is now considered a famous ghost town. They are here to film a new video about the creepiest places on Earth for their supernatural vlogging channel. Upon arriving at the place by boat, they are greeted by a silent yet eerie vibe. Everything in the area is abandoned. The group set their camp near the village coast and planned to stay there for three days. After setting up each of their tents, Giselle and Tyler decided to take a nap in each of their tents. At the same time, Alice, Damien, and Kylie went out to ask some locals for directions on the island, since there were still locals working at the restaurants and hotels in this place to accommodate tourists. As they set off to tour the island, Giselle and Tyler took a nap in their tents to rest. Hours into the nap, Giselle woke up to a strange feeling on her legs. She feels like she's being pulled outside of her tent. She thinks it's just a dream, so she lets it keep happening until she opens her eyes and sees something scarier than a ghost, a polar bear pulling her out of the tent. Horrified at what was unfolding in front of her, she screamed and tried kicking her legs to escape the polar bear, but it was useless. The bear kept dragging her out of the tent until it stopped and clawed her legs, causing her to scream painfully. Giselle's scream woke up Damien, who was taking a nap in another tent beside hers. When Damien saw that a polar bear was attacking Giselle, he immediately grabbed a pen flare from his bag and lit it up to try and scare the bear off. As the bear was still attacking and clawing Giselle's legs and lower body, Damien got as close as he could and swayed the pen flare against the bear, causing it to flinch and step back from them. The polar bear was startled and began to run away when Damien threw the pen flare in front of it. Damien immediately went to Giselle, now wounded, and decided to do first aid on her wounds as soon as possible. When their other three friends arrived, they immediately called a boat to pick them up and take Giselle to a medical clinic to treat her as soon as possible. 